Hello everybody and welcome back to learning Macintosh OS X commands. What I like about Macintosh is that almost every single program that it's running on your Mac is kind of open source so you can modify from command line every single settings that every single setting that it's any program that you have running right um, to see what settings you can modify you can actually issue a command so we usually do defaults right to modify a setting but to actually see what settings you can modify you can do a default suite on the name of the application the application name will always become dot apple and the name of the application let's see duck for example right I'm sorry let's duck there you go you have every single setting that you can modify on the default values for it so you can actually do defaults right the name of the program and then take one of these settings that you think you might want to modify it and just issue another value you need to be very careful though because they have maximum values that should not be uh, you should not go farther than that right so let's start with some commands for example, some of the Macintosh users still like the old B-dimensional look of the dark bar, right? So let's let's make it so, right? So it's uh, defaults, right? Because we are rewriting the defaults for the program. It's going to become that apple, as we said. Every single program begin program name begins with com dot apple. And it's going to be dark, and um, the name of the setting is no glass it's a boolean value and let's set it to yes there you go to actually apply it you need to restart the dock it needs to be capital if you do with no capital for example you're going to see that it's not going to find it okay so it's got to be a capital there you have it the old b-dimensional look. Right, let's put it back, set the boolean value back to no. Restart the program and everything is back as it was. <coughs> right. Let's see another one. Let's do for example for the duck as well. Let's make it as small as possible. Right. That's a nice trick. Okay, so let's default, default, right, for combat app or dot doc. And uh, we're going to modify the tile size. The value this time is integer, so int. And let's make it, I don't know, let's see, 10, for example, as small as possible, right? Restart it. There you have it. Nice trick, right? Let's put it back. Actually, let's put it as bigger as we can. 256 is the maximum value. There you have it. Back again. Right? Okay. What? Let's let's see. Let's see another command. Let's disable, for example, the the crash report dialog, right? When one of your application crashes, you're going to get a dialogue if you want to send the data to Apple to be analyzed or not, right? That's actually a little bit annoying to me, so I usually disable it. So let's let's disable it. Right? Command is the same. Every single command that you use to modify a setting on a program will begin to default right. Default right, the name of the program. Actually, this one is a script. It's not a program. Crash reporter needs to be capital actually Crash reporter. let's set the dialog type dialog type to none the default is prompt right so it's none so there you have it now when your application is going to crash you're not going to get the dialog let's change it back I always always change back a setting if you play with it, if you want it this way, just leave it this way. But if you're just playing with it, always change it back because you know you're gonna get to a point where you issue that many commands that you don't know what settings you change anymore. So 
So let's change it back to the default, which is prompt. I have to prompt you for a while. There you go. All right, another trick that I like when I open a folder or any drive on my computer, I like to see the exact path where, where, I'm, where I'm at, right? For example, the ENC path, as it were. So let's make that happen. It's defaults, right? And the program name, which is com.apple.finder, of course. And um, we're going to modify the show position in time, all right? So the name of the, um, of the setting is actually fx show position position x path x path in time right in title in title is correct that is correct it's a boolean value and let's set it to yes right. you need to restart finder mm -hmm. so so finder capital letter is already said. So now it's gonna restart. If I open my documents, for example, I'm gonna have the exact path where I find myself in, right? Usually, so if you change it back, for example, if you change back the value to no, you're gonna see that that goes away, right? There you go. You see the path is not actually there. Right. Okay, for the final a nice little trick that I like, I always use it to have fun or whatever. Uh, your computer with there is a command that you can make your, your, your computer actually say whatever you put on the screen, right? So let's see. Say uh, good evening master. Right. Good evening master. There you go. Nice, isn't it? All right, I'm going to paste all the commands next to my uh, video on YouTube. Thank you for watching and enjoy.